all the way back. So you, you get through ROTC, you get actually into, you know, you had to spend your time in Intel. So good on you for paying those dues and, and then and coming back. Oh, yeah. Um, we get through the TACP pipeline and, and you're off to the races. And there's always a choose your own adventure flavor that we put in here for people. And we tell them, hey, you can mm -hmm. you can find yourself in to whatever it is that you want to find yourself in. So there you are. You're cruising the TACP life. You're the TACP O of uh, everybody's hopes and dreams just looking real good. And then the opportunity comes up and they say, hey, sir, you're going to go to ranger school. What was that? Uh, what was that notification like? So it was actually more on myself. We didn't have a, our training shop. We're, we're switching guys around um, and civilians were running it. And so if you wanted to do something, and this is how I think it should be personally, but if you wanted to do something, you had to front load all of your preparation and requirements. So sure. you get all your medical squared away. That's a huge one. Um, same thing for airborne. Um, figure out all the prerequisites, get the course dates, and then figure out where in your timeline, especially being a team leader and filling in as a flight commander, um, figuring out where, where that time's going to fit. Because for Ranger School, I mean, you guys know it's at least 62 days. That's pending no washbacks, no recycles, no injuries. It's a minimum 62 day course. So, like, where, where in your Air Force timeline is that going to fit? Right. You know, so really, um, so what I did basically got all the requirements done got my medical done and then basically presented it to my DO. Um, I was like, Hey, here's what I want to do. If it's you know, this window, I'm ready. Like, let's go. Uh, and then he was a tab dude. So of course he blessed off on it. And then, you know, off he went. So I love it. And for everybody out there, I would like to highlight something. Notice how the captain went about this process. He got all of his ducks in a row first and presented a solution to his chain of command. And he got approved. We have been talking uh, with the with the, the cats and the dogs and the DMs, and people are like, "Oh, I want to do this thing." But like, have you done step one? I like it to hear that you you're like, "Hey, I wanted this thing. I set it up. I got my entire packet together, and I got approved to go." That's that's good feedback, sir. Thanks for being this voice of reason. <laughs> sometimes you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, it's, any school like we've had guys go to sniper school. Guys are uh, about to check out to mountain warfare. So it's the same process. They all front loaded, got their stuff together, and then brought it up with dates. Uh, so he gave them options. He Fantastic. So you got everything approved. You're ready yeah. to go. So first off, you know, the obvious question, you didn't go through a winter course. Do you feel like you're less of a ranger for going through there? Oh, geez. <laughs> you know what? You, <laughs> you hear that? You'll see the dudes with like little tabs on their shoulders, the white oh, yeah. and they just talk all sorts of mess. Oh, yeah. um, I will say um, we, we had plenty of dudes going down for heat injuries and, and you guys probably know going through courses in the summer that that, that sucks too. Oh yeah. So I don't want to take that away from the guys going through in the summer. Well, it's, it's huge, huge right difficulty. Now. Do you want heat, you know, and oh, carrying yeah. a bunch of water or do you want snivel gear and, you know, carrying that? Like it's, Oh, you don't get snivel gear. You're just cold. That's why it's harder. <laughs> hey, I will say this. When we were in Florida, we had the winter packing list and it made zero. Oh, time. nice. So we were still humping all that. gear. Oh. So Let's talk a little bit about Ranger School. This is an awesome opportunity that actually Aspect War has. The Air Force has spots to Ranger School. Anybody in the Air Force can go to Ranger School if you can get it approved. Literally, Literally anybody. anybody. If you want to go as an any AFSC, if you're a mechanic and you want to go to Ranger School and your chain of command supports it, guess what? You can show up and you can go to Ranger School. So, you know, you show up day one yeah. and I'm sure there's like, I'm sure there's the Army back and forth, but you're a TAC PO. Like people know who you are. People know who TAC PS are in the Army. So, you show up on, on kind of day one. What were the expectations for Ranger School, and was it what you expected it to be? Yeah. Um, so day one, when they're sorting everybody, just like any other course, it's super hectic, right? Uh, they're putting you into your companies, uh, giving you your assignments to your teams and squads, and then, you know, you're kind of just off from there. Um, I did go through the RTAC pre-Ranger course, and I'll just say that that does a fantastic job of preparing you for uh, Darby phase of Ranger School or the first phase. So if anybody's looking for an, a pre-ranger that's going to set you up 100% do RTAC out, uh, out in Georgia. I say that because they will actually vouch for you if you graduate their course and move you on into and walk you over to the course if you're a walk-on. Nice. So, good. Um, that was good. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> expectations, they, I mean, they, did, they expect you to know everything as far as the RTTs, like how to set up a 240, um, how to function check, how to fire it, how to maintain it, claymores, land nav, basically everything that Joe's going to be doing, like you're doing too, and you're on an equal playing field. So they don't care in this regard if you're a chief, if you're a captain, if you're a colonel, if you're, you know, E2, E3, like they, they don't care. They just want to know 
Like, dude, can you pass land nav? Can you um, finish out these RTTs to the standard? Because uh, guys would do it and then maybe miss out on time because you're going too slow and they just fail, it, right? Um, so the expectation is same across the board. And I think the, the, the ranger instructors did a good job, at least the first uh, phase of keeping that standard level across the board. So I, I appreciate That's it. That's awesome. Can you just, just for the audience say what RTTs are? Yeah, sorry. So RTT is a ranger training task. And in the first week of Derby phase, it's called rap week. Um, and basically there's, they're just assessing, do you have the baseline knowledge to actually get through ranger school? So again, all those, those tasks we just mentioned, they, they grade you on them. So those are the RTTs. Okay. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. It, we, we do it all the time too. Like we'll find ourselves talking in acronyms and usually I'm the one that's like, I can hear myself doing it. And then I'm like, okay, wait, we got to explain this stuff. So, um, what, what was raising your heart rate in that first, that, that first week? So, you know, as an Air Force guy that's gone to different schools, you're always showing up and there's always that feeling in the back of your head, especially when it's like an Army school and you're the only Air Force guy or you're, you know, one of few Air Force guys. There's always like, oh, no, like, am I going to get boloed out like immediately and have to go right back home? Was there anything that you were worried about in like that first that first week of showing up to where you're like, man, I'm going to have to go back to the unit and tell somebody a sob story? Short course. Oh, geez. Um, I don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I don't want to say that I didn't have anything to worry about. Um, preparation is definitely huge for this, but when you get there, there's just like, I think, I think everyone was the same way and we'll jump into it. But uh, the PT mm -hmm. test, they always say that the push-ups, you can go chest to ground, full extension. You're about to snap your elbows with, you know, how deliberate you're making it. And they'll still two, two, <laughs> two. So uh, I, was, I was a little nervous about that because I didn't want to get there, put all that work in. And this was like the only time my career feel, or in my career that it made sense. And then get like, you know, less than the minimum because some RI was trying to hit a quota or whatever the case may have been. So I was, I was nervous about that uh, mostly. You, but obviously didn't, didn't have an issue. So, with, with, so. with the, <laughs> you know, meeting those PT standards, not, not necessarily meeting them, but, you know, kind of like how strict they are. Did you... Did you find that they were more critical of Air Force than, or any other service, not just Air Force, but any other service versus Army? For this specifically, um, <clears throat> I thought they treated everyone the same across the board, and that was just like equally crappy. Like they were just, <laughs> it sucked for everybody. Okay, I, I like it. Um, I, I fantastic. Think it. No, it's easy to hold that. Equal, hate, equal yeah. hate across the board. I'm in for it. Yeah, it's Absolutely. easy to it's easy to speak um, your truth when your truth is hate. You know. <laughs> absolutely like you just hate everybody and life's easy there's no discrimination <laughs> I there it. um I, I think later in the course there's a little bit uh, where like being specifically like attack dj tac um and air force where i, I kind of felt it because each phase the ris are specific to that phase like they don't move with you and so you know ri dependent or ranger instructor dependent you're going to see some dudes like have a stigma um for air force or like they don't like officers well nobody likes and, officers that's yeah. just because they're good enlisted men <laughs> That's because the that's why, Trent, that's why uh, Trent's yeah, not no. here. Trent was like, nope, I'm out. Trent's like, I'm sorry. He's, does he have he's a, got oh, so man. much disdain for officers? I <laughs> does, mean. He, does he?